Okay, hey, so I'm giving a final update of the Orberic Gastric Balloon, and it's out, so that's great, right? Um, we are at, uh, it was in for seven months, okay, so uh, my doctor became really ill and had to go to uh, the hospital and wasn't able to take it out. He's still actually in the hospital. And so they had to find another physician because he self-practices. So they found another physician, they mailed the check, and um, yeah, had it out. So today's Saturday, um, January the 20th, I had to take it out on Wednesday the 17th. He was in for seven months. In that seven months, I lost 51 pounds. Since Wednesday, I've lost another two pounds. So my total weight loss is uh, 53 pounds. I, I couldn't be more happier about it. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, and I would do it again. So my whole purpose of this, um, this video recording, this whole time, was to inform other people, to kind of like be a guinea pig for some friends, honest, um, and to be um, held accountable because I really didn't have a lot of people to be, I'm in a town where I don't know that many people and I didn't have um, a lot of people to be held accountable for. So, um, that was my purpose of this, to give an honest, true opinion of what's going on and to track this whole progress of when I started, um, seven months ago, did I know for sure I was going to lose weight? Did I, I was scared. There was a lot of things going on, but I went out on a whim, right? So let's go back real quick. So I had the balloon, uh, excuse me, seven months ago, I heard about the balloon within a week. I had my first consultation, paid for it, and within a week from that point had my orbaria gastric balloon inserted. So like zero prep time. I can't sit there and tell you that I thoroughly uh, investigated all this because that's a lie. Didn't. I was just like, I'm done. I'm tired of, of being obese. I can't do this on my own. Something has to give. Something less drastic than like a gastric bypass or a gastric sleeve. So that's how it went, all right? So we know my story, you go back. I didn't get the nausea, vomiting like the majority of people did. I had severe acid reflux. I was still hungry and I was still able to eat. So there was a few things that, you know, I was like, well, that's not what everybody else's video looks like. They lost 50 pounds because they were vomiting. No, that's not what it was with me. So, um, so I, but that time, that initial mm, two, three months, it literally gave me time without feeling like I was starving to retrain my body, learn new eating habits. Um, something I picked up, intermittent fasting. The only fasting I had ever heard before was when you fast for church. And I tried it and felt bad. You know, oh God, I'm so sorry, but I'm so hungry. I couldn't do it, all right? So I had never heard of this intermittent fasting before. What? Okay. So I picked that up a few months ago. That is something that I will for sure continue. Um, why? Because I love food. Did the Orbera Gastric Balloon change my love for food? Mm -mm. I love food still. Okay. I have a food addiction. I love sweets. I love, I love food. I just can't even tell you. I just, I love eating. So what does that mean? Well, that means um, I need to learn new eating habits. If I still love food, how can I fix this? So this intermittent fasting, um, I just, I don't eat breakfast. Remember I eat like two meals a day and I get to break those calories cause I'm eating around 1100 to 1300 calories a day into those two meals. So now I can, hmm, I might be able to have me a donut or, you know, so I, I did still eat like that. I, I will be honest. I still had funnel cakes. I still had, I, I didn't have the healthiest food because, well, I'm just going to be honest. I just didn't. Um, but I did stick to my calorie counting. That's the truth. I stuck to my calorie counting. I used that My Fitness Pal app. I counted everything. If it went in my mouth, I counted it. And that made me think, oh, Amanda, you just had 1,400 calories. That cookie looks good. But um, if you eat it, you know you're about to start gaining weight. So that kept me, I don't know, somewhat grounded. So 51 pounds was lost in that seven months. An additional two pounds was lost in a couple of days since I had the balloon out. So I've had a total weight loss of 53 uh, pounds. Yeah, that's sad. I just had to sit there and think about that. 53 pounds 
and I'm, I'm 151, all right? So I'm 151 pounds. I honestly don't remember weighing 151 pounds. I think I woke up 10 years age and was just boom, 150, 160, you know? So I really, I, I this is the smallest I can be. I, this is the smallest for sure I've ever been as an adult. I know that. Um, I can do a portfolio, a vision, but I'm just as a tomboy and that's cool. I'm in some slacky clothes. Um, did I work out? You guys know that I, um, I walked, so I walked, that's it. Three weeks ago, I did start the gym with my fan, uh, with my uh, daughter and my husband. Um, I'm just ready cause I was ready to start toning. Um, so I did not exercise this entire time. Am I promoting that? No, I did. Could that, you know, walking is cardiovascular. It's one of the, actually the healthiest and safest uh, methods of exercising it you know increase my cardiovascular system it it's uh, easy on the joints um, it's convenient because you don't have a membership for anywhere you can just put on some tennies and go so um, that's the only exercise I did I just admitted to you guys what I was eating I mean I could I wish I knew how I'm so not technology or I could but I wish I could pull up my fitness app to show y'all what I ate because it is shameful but um Things that my doctor was honest about that I stuck, I'm, I'm away from chips. I will not eat chips. He says, when you eat chips, it breaks up into a million pieces and it's just like water. You're never going to get full. That's why we can eat a bag of chips. So that I'm taking away with it. I probably will never eat chips again. Um, cutting those food, you know, um, and getting a whole hamburger. If I have a Whopper, cutting the Whopper in half, that's 350 calories. That's something, seven months worth of logging your food will teach you how many calories are in something. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention brands and I really don't care. So you guys, but like a Sonic mini blast, I got a Sonic holiday shake. Do you know how much a Sonic is a little restaurant that we have out here? You know how much a little it's 10 ounces in that holiday shake uh, is 710 calories for a mint holiday shake. Okay. 710 calories. If you're only allowed to have between 1100 and 1200 calories a day and you just had 700 calories, you're going to be like starving the rest of the day. So it's things like that that has taught me so much about my food. So when, when everybody says like, oh, well, what, did, what did it teach you? It gave me time to acclimate to new eating habits. So I am ecstatic. I will continue making videos. I will continue this um, progress. I will maintain um, the, the weight that I have lost. And I've just, it's a bit of blessing to help anybody out there. I've gotten questions, you guys. I try to respond back. Um, my advice when someone still says, how come you lost and I haven't? All I can, I can't tell you. All I can tell you is what I did is I, I tracked my food. So I did a food journal. Uh, online on my phone on that my fitness app anything that went into my mouth i tracked it don't tell me you don't have time for it because we i have a lot of kids i work a lot of hours i have a house and everything else just do it we have to do it keep track of what you're eating get some type of daily activity even if it's picking up while you're while you're while you're washing the dishes start stomping your feet i know you're gonna look like an idiot but just do what you gotta do to get some at some type of activity in there um, and, um, be mindful, be mindful. If you know, when you're knowing how many calories you're like, for instance, if you're having that shake, then you realize, okay, I can now only eat a salad and a uh, half of breast, half a ch chicken breast for the rest of the day. That's it. If you go over those calories then then you can expect to gain weight. That's what's going to happen or at least not lose. So, um, it's been an awesome ride I and mean, I, like I said, continue on this journey. Um, take care, God bless. And I will see you guys. I'll see you soon because, um, I'm not over with this, like I said, but, uh, take care and, uh, we'll see you guys soon.